Guys, um, I am Sass. I am doing a is this you reading this reading the present or recent past energies about truth. Um, if you want to stick around and see what's what it is about, I'm using the playing card and the psychic tarot oracle card deck. So, um, yeah, truth. So, you might have discovered some form of truth recently. Um, I haven't seen these playing cards. I haven't looked at not one. Yeah. Um, truth. Truth. Some form of truth or realization recently or presently has led you to be go passionately at it. At a new beginning, a new phase in your life. Yeah. Take actions passionately recently or presently. Um, this truth could be surrounding, giving and receiving, whether you're receiving fair treatment from others, whether you're, you are being fair to others, yeah, whether you need more, you need improvement on the quality of your relationship, what kind of quality relationships are you entertaining? Is it minimal to your value? Um, that's what this truth could be surrounding. This truth could be surrounding improving the the um, quality, the amount of money and material things you're getting in. This truth could be surrounding some form of competition, disagreements, gossip, internal conflict or outside conflict. This truth could be surrounding um, people not agreeing with how you go about things and do things. People being competitive and um, negative. You are someone else. So, um, yeah. So, after... Some form of conflict after um, recovering, realizing some truth about conflict and negativity and whether this conflict is within you or outside or about competition and disagreement with others about what you do, how you go about it, um, what you have, what you don't have. Um, it, it, it appears that it has um, inspired you to, to um, get things more fair and balanced from a realistic point of view um and to start a passionate new beginning a passionate new beginning new phase in your life to get things more harmonious um think giving and receiving balance going in and com coming out and increasing your pay increasing your life get more money come in after some form of conflict or disagreement um negativity gossiping yeah distractions yeah so your challenge could be if you sell yourself short this is a four of pentacles if you don't go for that stability that you desire if you um hold back on what you think you deserve if you don't have that guts to go for stability four is um stability this is about your material world so stability, if you don't, if you hold back and don't go after what you want, that's what your challenge could be. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the king of swords. So someone could be very thinking, much thinking logically now after some form of truth. You are someone else. This could be any sign, but this could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This could you, be you speaking your truth and going after your wish fulfillment, your, your growth in all areas of your life, being more confident. This could be you seeking advice or seeking solution from someone who's an expert at doing that. Or are you just um, at your high vibration and cutting off things and, um, you know, going after your wish fulfillment or having your wish fulfillment after taking the steps to do so. So for future energy, near future energy, we have power. So balance your, your both your sides, you know, all your, your spiritual side, your human side and have that power that's power is here for you to have that movement you want it is movement so this is also up to you to balance your power to step into your power and claim what is yours yeah so we have the queen of swords here um i don't know if i showed you the other cards before but we have the queen of swords here so this power will take for you to really think of things from a very logical standpoint. It will take for you to cut off things that are not in alignment with you. Yeah, this power is, is that you're gaining and this strength and this confidence to move forward is because you're thinking more logically and less emotional 
and not caring what he or she, Tom, Dick or Ari is going to think or feel. Once you're in your authentic, authenticity and your, um, your truth, yeah? This power is also surrounding taking swift action, using your platform, using the fact that the energy you have to attract people to for the good for the greater good using it to influence people in a positive way in a high vibrational way and take the steps to move forward in your own life also yeah this power is you taking the advantage of being out there being very a, a, a energy magnet for others and using it transmuted in a in a good way for all high vibrational way for all not only self um this power is gonna enforce more happiness in your life it is gonna enforce more happiness and togetherness and your happiness you could get an emotional commitment from someone you could be emotionally committing to someone yeah um your obstacle is to your obstacle, your challenge could be if you don't have mental stability. If you don't try your best to maintain mental balance. Sorry, two is balance. And this is about mental and communicate clearly. Yeah? This is about communication and your mental. Yeah? So communicate clearly. Ensure that you have mental balance at all times, no matter what comes your way. And enforce that power. Yeah? And communicate fairly, honestly, and openly. Yeah? And maintain your um mental balance yeah so at the bottom of the deck now we have the king of clubs so some of you have some form of divine true partnership to address some of you could have a soulmate yeah take fast passionate actions to to whatever you desire to happen in your life or this could be someone doing it at the same time to you taking fast passionate actions and working it out with you to move forward or you are taking fast passionate actions in your work in whatever you work in in your area of work in whatever you're working on to move forward in life and this is not a, a, another eight yeah i don't know if i showed you these cards yeah i know i want to ensure that i show them Oh my goodness, my nose is itching me like crazy. Please be clear with me what you want me to say. So sacral chakra is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so what do you want? What is within your desire, your emotions? What do you want to create? Yeah, what are you feeling intimately attached to? Yeah, don't, don't suppress it. Yeah, and work on finding balance. Yeah, don't fear anything. The waiting game. You might have to wait patiently for things to settle for you to have balance. Or after waiting for a while, things will move fast, you know, accelerated mo motion and triumphant success. So, yeah, that is your reading. I bid you the highest vibration. My nose is itching like crazy. And healing, healing, healing and protection, of course. Namaste. Read till the end. Watch um like share comment subscribe if you like the vibe do help the channel grow if you like the vibe join the tribe and if you're ever interested in doing a reading with me please contact me yeah and thank you very much and peace